Finding decent training for SOC analysts, blue team, incident response can be very challenging and finding really good training is even harder. In this week's episode, I'm doing a review on Recon InfoSec's Network Defense Range Training two-day essentials course that I just recently took. It was absolutely amazing and I'm gonna break it all down for you, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further, faster. I'm your host, Gerald Dozier, and every week we are talking cybersecurity, industry trends, interviewing experts, looking at tools and labs, and talking about training opportunities, much like today's episode. If that's something that's interesting to you, check out some of the other videos on the channel. We post every Monday. Now, real quick, if you wanna just jump to the juicy bits in the bottom of each of my uh, shows in the description, I put minute markers so you can just jump right to the parts that are interesting to you. And be sure to stay tuned to the end for my one cool thing segment. So let's get into the network defense range training part. Now, this course is offered by Recon InfoSec, and you may be familiar with them because they host the OpenSoc IO uh, platform that is you know, very big at the Blue Team Village at DEF CON, uh, and Eric Capuano and all the group at Recon InfoSec do, do excellent work. So thank you for that um, in the community. Now, Eric reached out to me, by the way, friend of the show, if you want, uh, Eric did a video with us a long time ago uh, on everything security operations analyst that's wildly popular on the channel, so do check that out. He reached out and said, hey Jerry, would you like to participate in this training that we're setting up? We're gonna begin offering it um, you know, to, to individuals and companies, and I said, sure, absolutely. So I took it, and all of the thoughts, all of the feedback, everything is what I'm presenting to you. So overview of the course, it's two two-day courses, uh, an essentials course Monday and Tuesday, and then kind of an advanced operator course Wednesday and Thursday. And it's all around behaving as a security operations analyst uh, and an incident responder and dealing with like a real uh, kind of developing interesting complicated situation. Now, the 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 essentials course is really intended for an audience of um, you know newer to the field or you know more of a junior or someone who's kind of been out of the game and like coming back to it so you just want to like freshen up um, you do have to have some understanding you can't be completely uh, green like you, you do have to understand kind of like how a network works and maybe a little bit of perspective on like what logs are and how uh, they would come from an endpoint or how they would come from a network those type of things but you don't have to have any uh, security operations analyst background right that's kind of what this course does for you. Now, the advanced operator course, that is, as you would expect, more designed for the advanced operator, someone who's either done the two-day essential class and has got you know a little bit of that time in the saddle, familiarity with the platform, or someone who's been a blue teamer for, let's say, like two to three years and really looking to um, take their game to the next level. That's really what that uh, course is for. Now, real quick, just to talk about the price points on this, the two-day essential course is $2,500 for an individual, and the operator course is $2,500 for an individual. And if you want, you can do all both of them, or all four days, for $3,150. So basically buy one, and for 600 bucks more roughly, you can take the second one. So it's really a no-brainer. Um, I would strongly encourage you, that's a lot of money for an individual, but if you're working somewhere, uh, $2,500, $3,100, that's not too significant uh, asking of training dollars in many situations. So uh, that's the pricing as of right now. That, that could change, so be sure to check the links below to go and look at what uh, Recon InfoSec's current pricing model is because it's subject to change. Now, going back, let's talk about the actual like course, the essentials course, because that's what I took, right? On Monday, the first day, Eric, who's the CTO, mind you, of, of Recon InfoSec, he gives kind of a high level, it's it's a little bit lecture-based, it's hands-on, he's showing you his screen. Yes, there are some slides, but he's, he's talking about kind of the theory of what's going on here. He's laying out, um, you know, MITRE ATT&CK framework and how you can use MITRE ATT&CK to really, you know, identify and understand when you're seeing actual activity on your uh, network, malicious activity or behavior, how you can map that uh, potentially to some threat actors and then use that information, leverage that information to further enhance 
um, your understanding of what your situation is. And it, it really did play into the scenario as it unfolded. Also, Eric talked about, you know, kind of the, the Pickerel uh, incident response methodology uh, and why that was a good one. Um, we, there's a bunch of tools uh, that he walks through, Moloch, uh, which I think the name has changed uh, recently, but uh, Greylog and uh, The Hive and Velociraptor. So a couple different tools. Now, you, you walk through the lecture the first day and basically watch Eric kind of respond to an incident, right? You're seeing him work with Greylog and put queries in and he's explaining to you why he's doing it or what he's doing or how he's seeing it, right? So you're very much doing like an over the shoulder kind of thing. And on the second day, it's like, you know, you're, you're basically an analyst sitting at the sock and in comes uh, a scenario and you've got to respond to it. Now, the scenario that Eric had shown in the first day was very similar to the one in the second day, almost exactly the same. But that's it's interesting because when you sit down, you're like, oh, I just saw someone do this. It's not obviously it's not obvious. It's not intuitive, like exactly what to do. And that's where the training really shines because you're like, oh, like you know that you're supposed to go look for this, but how do you do it? How do you interact with Greylog? How do you interact with Moloch? When do you use OS query, right? That's what this training is teaching you. Now, let me back up here for a second and really tell you something that is absolutely fabulous about this. And this, to me, this is what really differentiates this training platform from others and, and puts it above the rest. The environment that you're looking at when you're responding, the one that you're a SOC analyst for, is actually a live, legitimate environment. I have no idea how they did this. I, Whitney Champion is their lead architect. She's fabulous. And I, I suspect that she is um, pulling the strings behind this, but you know, kudos to her and, and really the whole team over there. The environment has like, uh, it's like a corporate network, right? So there's an accounting uh, group, there's a marketing group, there's an IT group. Um, the network is all laid out. It's subnetted. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's a legit enterprise network, and they actually have real traffic going on on the network. So when you're looking at logs, when you're you know you know analyzing things and stuff like that, there's new data. Like you have to look at like the last you know 20 minutes of data or whatever because there's it, it, there's noise, right? It's 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 brilliant. It's really brilliant. So. Um, I found that to be like really nice. Now, another thing that the environment does that's quasi unrealistic to reality because crap happens is that they have Sysmon, which is like an excellent enhanced level of auditing on all their Microsoft endpoints. And those logs are being pushed into uh, the SIM. Um, and, and the network logs are tuned up. And I, I wanna say maybe that they had um, Zeek logs flowing around there. Uh, so for NetFlow and stuff like that, but but the the point is that like your visibility as an analyst is crystal clear. Like you have full visibility over an environment. And having worked in the industry for a while, uh, and Eric alluded to this in a couple examples that he shared, like when he gets dropped down into a active incident, and you know the the client doesn't have any of that stuff in place, they have to put it in, like that visibility is is not exactly real uh, to reality. But here's the thing. The training is supposed to be teaching you how to be a badass SOC analyst, right? If you're dealing with like missing logs and, you know, time drift on uh, correlating logs and stuff like that, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to kind of miss the point of like learning the tool set and, and training and stuff like that and, and how you can, you know, identify what APT it is and what, what techniques they're using and stuff like that. So I, I actually had reflected on it and I really appreciate um, that you do get that full visibility. And as a side bonus outside the training, all of the tools they use, OS Query, Greylog, The Hive, Velociraptor, and oh, there's another, a Moloch, they're all open source. They're all free, right? So, you know, Eric emphasized this. He doesn't want anyone to come to that training and think like, oh, like, you know, this is great, but this is because it's a $500,000 appliance and like my medium sized business is never going to afford this or my CEO, CFO are never going to approve this. So like this is a fun boondoggle of a training, but no. So, you know, he shows, he really highlights and emphasizes the value and the power of these open source tools, especially uh, Greylog and Moloch. I mean, there was an exceptional amount of uh, power in there. Um, 
And then personally, they didn't get into Velociraptor too much. I think that that's gonna be a tool that they talk about in day three and four class because you can do some stuff. Okay, so having said all of that, you know, what, what really made this nice and, you know, hopefully I'm not burning um, their scenario and, and I'll try to be a little vague so I don't ruin it for you if, they end, if you end up experiencing the same one. But, you know, we, ch we were chosen APT or, you know, Recon InfoSec chosen APT and demonstrated the advanced persistent threats techniques and tool set inside the environment. So if, if real quick, I haven't really talked about APTs on the channel before, but an APT is like a nation state threat actor, or a very advanced cyber uh, threat organization. But one of the things is they kind of use the same t tools, the same techniques, the same phishing types, the way that they move around the environment similar. Um, so we chose one or we, you know, one was chosen for us. And then you could kind of look at how they do that. And at one point there was like kind of a red herring of a, 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 an attack going on, a ransomware attack. And what really was happening was it was pretty much like fireworks over here to distract us from what was really going on, the actual mission objective over here. And by having done that kind of analysis on the APTs and stuff like that, we were able to deduce and, and put together like a pretty good, um, uh, response to the incident and you know uh, kudos to my teammates um, I, you know Elon Wright the uh, differ diva was there um, I, I, I'll put their names uh, I can't I haven't written down I'll put their names right here uh, but they were my teammates on day two as I said day two is like a full-on you're executing an incident you've got a ticketing system that you're responding to as you're digging in um, they they used discord um, and Rocket Chat, uh, Rocket Chat to kind of share different things. But the Discord was like, we had an open channel, me and my teammates, and most of the day, some of us were in and out because we were working uh, on other stuff as well. But, you know, open thing, like, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Hey, like, check this out. Look at this query I put in, drop it in chat. Everybody puts it in there, gray log and runs it. Like, very collaborative, very interesting. And basically, you know, my final rendering of this training is, it is fantastic, both if you're interested in getting into SOC uh, or you wanna kinda like level up your game a little bit by understanding some of these open source tools and how to use uh, what like the power of, of, of good log um, setup and you know enterprise log configurations. And then really, I didn't get into days three and four, the advanced operator one, that wasn't part of what I was doing, but I can tell you based on how knowledgeable Eric is and how quick and, and, and just moving around and like, he obviously is a master of his craft because the way he's communicating to you what he's doing is at a very um, clear and understandable level uh, for any audience to really pick up. So kudos to them, kudos to Recon InfoSec. Uh, I would strongly encourage you again to check out the link in the show notes below and go look at the training itself. Uh, see if it's something that you might be able to get into. I assure you, you will not be disappointed in the investment. All right, now it's time for our one cool thing. So this week's one cool thing is Monica Talk Cyber. It's a podcast run by Monica Verma, where she interviews people in the industry. Um, she talks about various topics in cybersecurity. She is a very seasoned uh, information security professional, CISO, out of Europe. Um, she brings a lot of knowledge, uh, a lot of interesting perspective, and I found her podcast to be uh, worth my time to listen to, so I wanted to recommend her. Uh, she'll be a guest on the channel in January, so you know you can look forward to that as well. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, real quick, you know, I always try to highlight a YouTuber who's in the cybersecurity game. Uh, this back here is Josh Strohshine's, Dr. Josh Strohshine's channel. And if you're into reverse engineering data structures or reversing malware and you wanna use Ghidra or Ida Pro, uh, check out Josh's channel because he is fantastic. He's incredibly smart and that's where his focus and passion is. So check it out. All right, until next time, stay secure.